UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Join the Visa Fan Zone on the zone for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, DAZN.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. It's a very good evening, everyone. We're live for the iconic Johan Cruyff Arena. Ajax against Chelsea in the first leg of the UEFA Women's Champions League quarterfinals. All the action coming your way here on DAZN, the global home of women's football. So the 23-24 season started back on September the 6th, 195 days ago. Now here we are where the competition starts to come to life. In terms of who gets to Bilbao, the winner of this quarterfinal will face the winner of Barcelona and Bran. The potential of a Lyon Paris Saint-Germain semi-final properly whets the appetite. But they have to get beyond Benfica and Hagen, respectively. So Ajax and Chelsea on a record-breaking night here in Amsterdam. Never before have Ajax's women's team, women's football in the Netherlands overall, played in front of a record audience. And here at one of the most iconic venues in global football. Ajax, the first Dutch team to make the quarterfinals of the UEFA Women's Champions League. And it's 17 years since Seychelles did it in 2007. But here they are against Chelsea, leading the way in the WSL into an FA Cup semi-final, a League Cup final as well. And now the quarter-finals of the Women's Champions League. And as Emma Hayes turns into her long straight of goodbye, these next few months for Chelsea Football Club could be the most extraordinary in their history. They haven't lost, by the way, in their four quarter-finals in this competition. Here come the teams. Ajax came through their group behind Paris Saint-Germain, beating them here along the way, and also qualifying ahead of Bayern. A magnificent feat. Chelsea along with Lyon and Barcelona going through their group campaign without defeat. But it is nights like this and occasions such as this that Chelsea utterly thrive in.
Probably near to 40,000 here tonight. Beating the overall final attendance of last season's a showpiece finale in Eindhoven. And Ajax, one of the finest names in the game, the men's team, a former European Cup winner. But will Chelsea's know-how, as Emma Hayes put it, in the build-up to this one, come through over these two legs? Let's have a look at the uh, team for you then. Showing four alterations. Ajax from the side who won in the cup in the weekend, most notably no Sharita Spitzer, who is out through suspension, but 16-year-old Lily Johannes is there taking the game by storm and the youngest to start a women's Champions League quarterfinal in a decade. Rome looks at her hat-trick last time out in the cup has made her Ajax's all-time top scorer. Our referee tonight is Maria Caputi from Italy. It is her first experience of taking charge of Ajax. More familiar she is with Chelsea. And it is at this stage now where video technology is available. Alejandro Di Paolo is on video assist duty for this one. Respective captains, Nadine Nodan and Erin Cuthbert with the armbands. Emma Hayes names an unchanged 11 to the one that beat Arsenal on Friday and having to deal with a lengthy injury list as well. Shikha Nuskin with a couple of goals in that game as well, one to really look out for, as is Lauren James leading the way. And James still looking for her first goals in Europe this season. Moments away from kickoff, then Ajax against Chelsea live on the zone, the global home of women's football. We're inviting you to get involved in the Visa fan zone this evening and then every match day from now to the final. Into the DAZN app or head to DAZN.com forward slash women's football. Just sign up, click on your Champions League game of your choice, join in the fun. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Amazon. So we're all set and ready to go. Here we go then, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride from now until the final in Bilbao. But a record-breaking night for Ajax, first ever Women's Champions League quarter-final, their debut season in European football proper. In front of a record crowd, and Chelsea have every intention of spoiling that. However, nerdy play at the back straight away, Anita Asante, and very nearly Chelsea getting caught out 25 seconds in. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Good evening to you, Chris, and to everyone tuned in. Yeah, I think it's going to be an exciting, obviously, contest between these two sides. And for me, the ones to watch is Lily Johannes for Ajax in that midfield, a really bright spark. And, of course, Lauren James, we know she has magic in those boots. It'll be interesting to see just how Lily Johannes, at, at 16 years of age, seems to be gracing every game she's playing in, but still so young and experienced as well, how she can have a real feel on this game at, at such a young age. Definitely, and she can play with that bit of fearlessness, you know, when you're young and you, you have these opportunities on a, a stage like this, it's about showcasing your, your talent. And for Chelsea, I think the game could be won and lost in that midfield battle against an experienced midfield. This is on the back here, you just saw that. And like Emma Hayes, uh, will also be leaving her role at the end of the season. And uh, move that uh, go down particularly well with her when it, the news broke. Never had Chelsea lost the Champions League quarter-final, but she will know tonight they face a team who came through a group which featured three of last season's quarter-finalists. 
She knows exactly what Ajax can do, and especially here at home anytime. Most definitely, they have a fantastic record at home, and of course, they have the advantage of having this crowd behind them that will give them the extra boost. But Chelsea have experience, um, they've been here before, and that will be crucially important for them in this fixture. Chelsea is still with it. And Chelsea are going to get the first corner of the game. Paul Wrighton to come across. That's all good. Chelsea with quality all over. Goes for set pieces as well. Hansen plays it in. He splits on. Some cameras can uh, keep things moving for Chelsea here, although it's a strong challenge coming in. Saw some uh, youngsters in that back line for Ajax tonight. Talk about Lily Johannes, but there's two 19 year olds there as well. Incredible experience. All these players. And Charles brings it down nicely, and Aaron Cuthbert. And James to get on the end of this. Lauren James hangs it up. Oh, complete miss cake, and then hit towards goal, and well wide by Perisic. Yeah, complete miscue there from Perisic, but lovely play down this left-hand flank uh, between Lauren James and. Uh, on that side and being able to just get by past the fullback there to deliver a really good good cross but I think that's the area that Chelsea will be looking to exploit between the centre back and fullback. James first line of defence and to play through illness to sparkle against Arsenal on Friday night. It was a pretty lengthy injury list that Emma Hayes is having to deal with at the minute. Yeah, and, and sometimes these are the situations that, you know, you can't prepare for, but it's an opportunity for players to just take responsibility and, and, and step up, and we've seen that this Chelsea team can adapt and do that. And Lily Bright is on her way back, as Chelsea get the free kick here. Kadisha Buchanan might have just felt that man to just to uh, take a few deep breaths. Bang. Just letting her know she's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. what you want to do, isn't it? Put that early marker down. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's clearly a foul, but I think you can see both teams have matched up in their 4 3 3 system. So it's going to come down to those individual battles who outperforms their opponent in these circumstances. Let's begin with again. Coming from uh, Lyon, winning absolutely everything in the uh, club game. Warren James for Aaron Cuthbert. Go wide again, but it's getting players back, throwing the challenges in. And they might be able to spark a counter attack of their own here. This is Grant. And thrown behind in the end, behind when they looked up. As Hannah Hampton was able to clear it away, but it's straight back to Ajax, straight back to their captain, standing counter tonight, Nadine Nouda. The bigger miss is showing the spits are going to be for Ajax with all the more experience. Well, she's the second most capped player in Europe, you know, that signifies the kind of experience she has. Um, it, this is a very young team, and you, in a game like this, you know, you, you want those leaders on the pitch. But already we've seen that, you know, Ajax are a team that can be dangerous on that counter attack. 2006-7 campaign when uh, Seistan got to the quarterfinals in European competition. Stutch team to do so as uh, Ajax here off the post. Loita, goodness me, Hampton was beaten, and then over from Nordam. Well, she became Ajax's all-time best scorer at the weekend, and she's the thickness of a post away from giving Ajax the lead. Yeah, fantastic play here from Lloyd. Because she takes it so early, it makes it very difficult for Hannah Hampton to just get the right uh, footwork and positioning. 
81 goals she has got to her name now as uh, an Ajax played nine in nine European games this season as well she is flying at this season Romain looks up a hat-trick in the cup but down at the other end Chelsea can they respond and ask some further questions of Ajax it's good covering in the end from Kaylee DeSantis Coming through the back of Jess Carter and having out the free kick, this go Chelsea's way. Yeah, you can just see there, Lickford is eager to try and press Jess Carter and win the ball, and I think she just is a bit gregarious in that situation, but it's great to see both sides already asking questions of each other. Next, have faced English opposition before, and can we get last season's qualifiers for the competition against Arsenal? So again, the first leg, certainly, first 2-2, two -two and a 1-0 defeat. It's been a sparkling performance from them in their debut campaign. Beating Paris Saint-Germain here was one of the rare stories of the group stage. This is our backer talking about how they're very, very alike Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea in terms of the individual quality available. They know how to beat the big teams. They certainly do, and I think that's put them in good stead to be able to try and compete with the Chelsea side. You can see here that, you know, they're really going after them. Well done, can she get that? Not quite. I think she be kind of seems okay now. Fighting in Champions League winner. There's no down. Tyax names who started every game in the River Range Champions League this season. She's a proper playmaker right in the heart of that Ajax midfield as well. Sanders is uh, cutting out across the back line. And now just 18 years of age. Back for Regina Van Eyck here. He's been pretty busy in terms of uh, making saves this season. In the competition. He's a fine shot stopper. But Ajax looking to try and play their way out from the back. And not just the pressure there from Chelsea. Know, young defenders in that back line it's going to be really important that they don't take too many risks you can see Chelsea are defending in that 4-4-2 and they're very happy to allow Ajax to have the ball and wait for them to make errors <laughs> Chelsea was looking for some <laughs> I think she thought it was going to come maybe from Lauren James a cry of come on not quite on the, on the same wavelength <laughs> not quite at all was invested in the performance than the result against Arsenal on Friday night. Making amends for the uh, defeat of the Emirates against Arsenal earlier in the season. A big win in front of a big crowd at Stamford Bridge. They'll be hoping for another big crowd for the second leg to come next week. There's Johannes. Ball was won fairly. Lauren James. Right on one side. James opted to go the other way. And now Johannes can bring it away. Spark Ajax into life now. Grant making the move through the middle. Not going to be used as Hampton holds onto it. Denny Hertzler taking it a long way. And opted to go for goal herself. 
Yeah, it's a great transition play from Ajax. They go with speed and dynamism, carry the ball up the pitch, and just wasn't able to execute the shot as she wished. But you saw earlier that Lauren James, they just swarmed her, and that's what they, with those moments they're looking for. Well, it's come on the closest already to a goal. Striking the post. The finish runners up to Paris Saint-Germain, by the way, courtesy of an inferior goal difference. Wonderful to finish ahead of the, the great name of Bayern and of Roma as well. The long old European campaign for them. Some in the qualifiers when they came through against Dinamo Bucharest and then against Zurich as well. Carter. Lily Hannes, by the way, the youngest to play and start in a women's quarterfinal in the Champions League since Jess Carter did it in the Birmingham days, ten years ago. Just incredible. Makes me feel extremely old, Chris. <laughs> Here is Johannes. She was uh, a top name that Emma Hayes was waxing lyrical about in a press conference. Actually, so from Springfield in Virginia. Just starting to get a feel of the ball now, Ajax, haven't they? Just calming things down a bit. Yeah, just oh. <laughs> commentator's curse, I think, then. Yeah, Johannes was late, and Johannes is going to get a booking here. And this is big because it means that she's not going to be able to play at Stamford Bridge in the second leg. She was a yellow card away from a suspension. There it is. And you can just see her frustration because really, you know, her, her teammate there, centre back, has played her a 50 50 ball that she's tried to attempt to, to reach it. You know, it's just un unable to get there in time. They are the most carded team in the uh, UEFA Women's Champions League this season, Ajax, by the way. Be the 14th yellow card that they picked up. And that's all how the player sent off here. Yeah. <laughs> Both have been told that they're just a move a bit further away from where this free kick is to be taken. James is fighting towards her and he'll come back to her again, Laura James. Just wouldn't sit down for her. Yeah, good play. Chelsea for their wide free kick opted to play short. Uh, good decision because they were able to commit numbers in the box there. But unfortunately, Laura just wasn't able, Laura James wasn't able to bring the ball down as it took a while to drop. Grant. Put that down really well. You see how quick Chelsea are to get up into the faces of these Ajax players, although it's Ajax's turn to put the heat on Lee Charles. Cutting out. Again, going long for Luther. Risky again. Yeah, that was good pressure there from Grant, you know, to force her into a mistake. And I actually could have potentially capitalised from it. Well, Chelsea could capitalise here. Look at Lauren James go. Can she get that first? Like, very quick off the line in the nick of time, able to clear it away. She had to be there, Chris, you know, you don't want to give Lauren James that kind of space and time to try and exploit it behind the defensive line. It's Carter. 
was able to take a, a bit of a stroll around Amsterdam earlier today. Lauren James, in full flow, looks like she's just strolling around the place, doesn't she? <laughs> just the style. Yeah, she's got a very elegant way of playing, and I think it, you know she's the type of player that can have you standing on your feet. Cuspets. It's in Kellerud, and she's on her way again. She do well to keep it in play, can't. And the Ajax ball. Well, don't forget to show your support, get involved in the fan zone, share your messages of support for your team or preferred player. You just have to let us know who you want to win now. Scholars so far here for the Owen Cruyff Arena. Chelsea, one of three clubs who have remained unbeaten throughout the group stage, along with Lyon and Barcelona. Pretty impressive they are away from home as well in Europe, eight unbeaten. To thrive on the big occasion again here, Shekhar Nuska, Ferrer and Cuthbert. Brighton. Cuthbert, it's a bit narrow, plenty of defenders back, although Ajax struggling to clear. Well, it fall for James, and Lauren James will put it in, but the flag goes up. Well, everybody was looking, and everybody was waiting for that flag to go up. Yeah, I think the whistle, Caputi actually blew the whistle uh, before for the original foul, uh, but it was great play from Chelsea, trying to play in that one-two touch quick combination play well they're going to be looking at this closely Alejandro Di Paolo uh, video technology available and full credit to Lauren James because you play to the whistle don't you so anything that she did was carry on put it in the net you never know what can happen this is a close call this Big moments with 21st half minutes. And Lauren James. Thirteen goals to a name in the WSL this season. And a couple of goals in Europe last season against Paris Saint Germain. We should be celebrating here and Chelsea lead it in Amsterdam. It's taken a, a while, isn't it, Chris? Goal. Chelsea in front. Lauren James. It's not gone down well with the locals, but Chelsea have a lead in Amsterdam. Yeah, clearly Lauren James is onside. And then it was the rebound, wasn't it, off two Ajax defenders there and there. A great anticipation from Lauren James. Yeah, she, you know, she's the first to react. She, you know, ricochets off those two centre backs. And, uh, the defender, the centre-back, the full-back falls to her and she finishes. And that's, that's what you do as a professional attacking player. Put the ball in the back of the net. Ron James off the mark in Europe. Great time to get off the mark in Europe this season. The first leg of this quarter-final. Chelsea, you have a, a wonderful record when getting to this point in Europe. Determined to make sure that they hit a semi-final as they did uh, last season before being beaten by Barcelona, but only just for the final last season they were involved in an absolute thriller against Lyon, which went all the way to penalties at Stamford Bridge. And all about the character of Ajax now on this grand occasion. Is Lupots. 
You can just see Chelsea now growing in confidence. The spray passes through that midfield. Uh, and also, that's what Lauren James has added to a game defensively, getting back, recovering the ball. And the Colonia loses out to the gunner in here. And Chelsea can just slow it all down, play at their pace, play on their terms. Absolutely, and I think Ajax have to be mindful not to keep dropping off and getting into lower and lower positions within their units. They've got to be able to still get close enough to try and apply pressure and make it difficult for these Chelsea players. Scored in 15 of the last 17 European games. Generally, when uh, Chelsea do score the opening goal in matches, they avoid defeat. They have done in the last 28 when scoring first in the WSL. But they're just ruthless in front of goal, and, and Lauren James just demonstrated that, you know. This is into a third season now after a move from Manchester United. Also three of the last four appearances now as well. Emma Hayes calling her a bit of a maverick <laughs> in the uh, pre-match press conference, which describes the pitch as a playground. You always need one of those in your team. You know, you need someone that's going to break the mould, uh, be brave and, and, and be creative. And she definitely encompasses all of those things. There's a hush around the place now. Oh, this uh, record-breaking night, kind of, uh, a record-breaking crowd for women's football in the Netherlands, surpassing the, uh, the capacity of the Champions League final last season in Eindhoven. Regina van Eyck will be able to add to uh, two European clean sheets this season. Buchanan won it. Lupots, right. Jutin Kenneret against the Colonia. Cuthbert, pickpocketed by Johannes. Now also going to get a free kick. And maybe just a word to so, Lauren Lopez. I think she knew exactly what she was doing there. Yeah, you know, she just leaves a foot in there on Nordan, I think, as, as she tries to break. And, you know, some might say that's just intelligent midfield play stopping a transition. <laughs> It's right and it's not first time for Shikaluskin. Take it up that 10 roll if you like. Settled into it pretty well, Shikaluskin. Jack of all trades really, pretty much anywhere. Yeah, extremely versatile. We've seen her obviously this season in the WSL take up a centre back role. Also, the 10, she's got attacking and defensive qualities. We're all enjoying the fan zone here on DAZN, the uh, global home of women's football. Some fantastic prizes to give away. And to be in with the chance of winning a, a personal message from a team visa footballer, share with us the pep talk you give, or you'd like to give your team right now in the chat. Ajax, a team who are currently second in the top flight in the Netherlands. And they are in a title race. So six points back, though, from FC Twente, who they have beaten this season. The uh, top two to qualify from the top flight here in the Netherlands for the Champions League qualifiers. No direct passage. Five games remaining in the uh, top flight. Possible cup final as well. They get beyond the semi finals, which they'll play the great rivals Feyenoord. So, an exciting climax to their season to come still. There is Kaiser. 
Well, from Azed a couple of years ago. Van Gogh. And the Colonia. Van Hill did very well there just to wriggle out of that situation. Just getting pressed aggressively, manages to retain possession. But you can see the two forwards, the wide forwards for Ajax, are just trying to pin that Chelsea defence and stretch them to open up those pockets. We're going to go long here. Looking for Grant. We had us. Perise. Cuspert brings it down, calms it all down. Carter, back for Hannah Hampton. Won't be taking too many risks. She's been caught out here. Johannes going for goal. And it's not for the first time where Hannah Hampton has just made life a little difficult for herself at the back. Well, yeah, Chelsea started the game a bit tentatively and Hannah Hampton obviously turned over the ball quite early on in the game. Again, has demonstrated it here, getting pressed heavily from that left-hand side from the forward. And, you know, Lily Johannes will be kicking herself that she wasn't able to put that on target. I'm getting the nod to uh, put the uh, starting number one for Chelsea and put in the heat on Mary Earp, certainly at the national team level as well, Hannah Hampton. Maybe she's thinking she's still a striker and she started her career <laughs> as a, a striker in younger days. Well, I've played with Hannah at Aston Villa and I think, you know, she's the sort of player that has unbelievable ability with her feet, both her left foot, right foot, and is a sort of goalkeeper that can take you from defence to attack very quickly. That's the name of the game of a modern-day goalkeeper now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's, Not I'm... just about <laughs> stopping with your hands. No, it's like getting an extra overload in your back line when you can then start to push defensive players up high up the pitch and create all sorts of problems. She's again. Lupots. Buchanan. Look where Lauren James is. He's in Canterbury. Against the Colonia. Just out of the reach of Guru Wrighton. Cannon winning those aerial duels with uh, a commanding presence as well. It's a switch on for Ajax here. That's calmly done from Perisic. He really has stepped up and been called upon for Chelsea in recent games, recent months. So it shows Chelsea's strength and depth, doesn't it? Just for the amount of injuries that they do have, but so those still available, those that can cover in, not necessarily their native positions. Absolutely, you obviously they're missing Billy Bright, who I know is a, a real leader for this team, but the way they're playing at the moment just is a team that's super confident. Hudson's had a bit of an in and out sort of campaign. It's a player who can come up and score some really important goals. She has done that her career at Chelsea. She's brilliant, obviously, 1v1 down that left-hand side. Her the quality of her deliveries. But you're seeing her also add another level to her game. She's coming in more narrow these days to try and combine in those central areas. It's James. Brighton can't gather it out, it goes for uh, an Ajax goal kick. That's the goal again. And you can see Lauren uh, James was on side. Is 
she had made of the first half an hour in the Hayes. I think she'll be happy, you know, at the moment. Getting a goal always allows the team to settle and get their rhythm and build their confidence. Of course, they've had a few warning shots from Ajax. That's what they'll have to manage going into half time. Chelsea have lost just two of the last 16 Champions League matches. As Grant makes the move forward here for Ajax. And again, and stood tall. Yeah, good 1v1 battle here. You see Grant using her body really well to try and get between his, the ball and Buchanan is able to make good contact with the shot. And Chelsea currently uh, beaten in their last seven European games. The return leg to come at Stamford Bridge next week. So many games to be played between now and the final. Not just uh, in terms of European scene, but domestically as well. And Chelsea looking for another league title. Roma Hayes to bow out on. De Cannon. We need a lot of that from Van Hool and the rest. Ajax here. And Nuskin. And here we need Charles. I was going to say Chelsea <laughs> wriggled out very well of that situation because you could see Ajax were trying to set a trap down that right hand wing with their numbers. Huel coming in, trying to apply pressure. Um, and, and that, I think that would be a feature of, of, of this half. from Grant, just couldn't get away from Lee Charles. He's, he's a Cardinal. Dutch under 19 international, he's a Cardinal. And started and played really well in games against some of the biggest names in Roma and against uh, Bayern as well. goes for James. Nice clearance well, as far as Leupold's. Right in, Leupold's. She taken out, she was, so good into the referee. Yeah, definite foul there from Kaiser in her desperation to try and win that loose ball. Just goes flying into to Luke Poults and takes her down. I think it's a tight one there, the potential offside on Guru Wrighton as she just tries to get herself back on side. Luke Poults getting a, another start in the Champions League. She uh, sort of featured against Real Madrid. The group stage, she started then, a sole appearance. It's a Carter from the back. Ten to go till the break. Chelsea profit from this set piece. Drifted in. Oh, Shaka Niskan so close to making it too. Yeah, it's a lovely delivery here from Parise and Swinger into the box, and Niskan is completely free. Nobody makes contact with her and just isn't able to guide that ball towards the goal. Well, she's got a couple of goals against Arsenal on the weekend. One of them, uh, I don't think she knew too much about. <laughs> Yeah, the queen of deflections. <laughs> Absolutely. I should say she has been playing a more uh, defensive role. Zayax 
Really getting caught out defensively here. Corner it will be for Chelsea. Yeah, these are the two vulnerable areas. Ajax is in a build not to take those kinds of risks against aggressive pressure, but also set pieces, I think, has been a weakness. You saw in the group stages against Roma. They create a lot of chances, so they have to be really alert to these situations. Perisay across to uh, take this rough, we've just seen too much going on in there. And Perisay clocked 50 appearances for Chelsea against Arsenal. Swings it in. Chance to chase. Grant there first for Ajax. They've got a lot of room to work with. Good play from Charles. That's a very important challenge from the Claudia. She's there again as well. Had to make that challenge. Claudia's had a grand total of 12 minutes in Europe before tonight. She uh, turned 19 yesterday. Charles. James Chelsea just happy to control the tempo you know this is what you call really good game management manage these situations wait for the right opportunities to go forward James is on her way it's Kaiser here, James is ball in, what a ball in, it is as well, Wrighton! Wrighton, there where it matters for Chelsea. And they have two goals now in Amsterdam. If at first you don't succeed, and there she is at the second opportunity to smash it into the delight of those travelling fans, they have control of this quarter-final. Well, it was a fantastic build initially down the left-hand side. And again, Lauren James pops up, whips in this cross. And who's first to react? Guru Wrighton, alive to it. Tries the first time, gets a little block. <laughs> I think comes off her head and just lands fortunately in front of her. And she's able to just capitalise and smash that into the back of the net. Well, great start for Chelsea. I mentioned now she's scored some massive goals in her career at Chelsea. And right in here for the third time in Europe this season. Nestling it into the net or has she? And she looks rather perplexed, has to be said. I'm just wondering if there, there's a possible check for a handball, but, you know, <laughs> we will soon find out. I tell you what, they were looking for an offside, I think, maybe as well. Luskin, but. Chelsea waits to see whether. The second goal is going to be theirs here tonight. Again, that delightful cross from Lauren James that comes in. And if there's a possible offside check, there is an Ajax player that was off the pitch, it seemed. Yeah. Shaka Nuskin, was she interfering as well in the line of the ball going in with the defender? Well, the video is just having a good long look at this. So big are these moments. Video technology introduced.
to the Women's Champions League at this point. And it is not going to count. Just yet. As the referee comes over and goes to have a look at her monitor. Clearly it's not that clear and obvious. I guess you, they, they want to make sure they get these decisions right. Right there, is it Omniskin? Potentially. Yeah, look at here. She seems to make that movement backwards, doesn't she? As if she is getting out of the way of the shot. She doesn't attempt to make a play on the ball, but yeah, exactly. Offside. So Ajax gets a breathe a sigh of relief here that it's not to be a two-goal game, but just the one now. Offside is the call. Yeah, it's a very tight decision, but probably the right one in the end. Here's James as the game restarts. Lauren James, oh, she felt that. Goodness me, that was tight, that was close. Buchanan. James can't touch it, and Wrighton gets there though. Right across it goes. And this one should count definitely. Shekin Nuskin on the slide. Chelsea do get their second goal. Yeah, Nuskin doing what Nuskin does, arriving into the box. And I think Chelsea would be happy that they got the goal from that scenario because I think there's a potential penalty call on, on Lauren James. But yeah, brilliant ball in from Guru Wright and low and hard across that defensive line. And who's there to finish it off? Nuskin once again. First goal in European competition in her career, Sheikha Nuskin. Came in from Eintracht Frankfurt in the summer. Been held to Eintracht Frankfurt. They qualified for the Champions League for the very first time. And what a moment for her. What a moment for Chelsea, who do have their second goal. Previously ruled out just moments before. Nuskin sliding in. She's having a good week after a couple of goals against Arsenal. Had a fantastic week. <laughs> to five additional minutes at the end of this first half. Can Ajax respond just out of the reach of Johannes? And now Wrighton. And James to take over, Wrighton's continued to run. That's nicely done, linking up with James. Lauren James is crossing. Oh. Some color is coming in. Lauren James again with another pearl of regret. She just makes it look so effortless, doesn't she? It's incredible the want that she has in both of those feet. Taking on players 1v1, delivering precision balls into the box and you can see that I had to just get getting a little bit stretched a little bit disjointed unable to deal with those overloads in the wide areas well who is your player of the first half uh, keep those positive pep talks coming in for your team and let us know who your standout player is for the first half who's impressed you the most All you need to do is let us know in the fan zone So two to the good here in this first leg of this quarter-final. Lose has seen very little of the ball. Ajax is all-time top goal scorer, confirmed that. 
at the weekend where she scored a hat-trick in the cup. They've not really been able to get her in the game at all yet. Romain Luxo, who's finished as their top scorer in each of the last two seasons. And they're going for that long ball again to try and get at the top and in behind Jess Carter and Co. But Hampton read it well. I think it's credit to the Chelsea centre backs, Christian. You, you Jess Carter and Buchanan, they're really getting tight to her, not allowing her space. Uh, they're managing the space in behind between themselves and Hampton well, stepping aggressively as well into those midfield areas. Millie Bright on social media couldn't hide her excitement. The fact that she's uh, back in training. Not featured since November in that uh, knee injury. Get her back for the most important stage of the season. She'll be chomping at the bit if I know <laughs> Millie to get back on the grass. Risky for James. He's been unplayable in this first half so far. Chelsea strike a third before the break. It's in Kanderud. Oh, she does find a cross. Cuts birds. And Nuskin is she in again? Wide. Well, I think Ritten Kanderud has been exceptional this season. You can see her taking on players 1v1 there. But that touch inside from Nuskin, so clever so much finesse to just try and give herself the extra space and time to try and get that shot away and it just isn't able to bend it nestle it into that bottom corner she is such a threat she certainly was at Eintracht Frankfurt in the uh, Frauen Bundesliga and I have been uh, second best in this first half experiencing what it takes to play and compete against the very best. Here is Lilianus. Back for Kaiser. Not enough pace on the pass. Could have by Wrighton. It's in Cameroon. Yeah, I think Chelsea's experience is really starting to show, you know, they are retaining possession, changing the tempo when they need to. Cut it out. You had us. Two for company, but uh, ball was one. This is giving away the free kick as we hit five. Chelsea firmly in control of this first leg here in Amsterdam. Yeah, it's a clear foul there. You can see Johannes in an attempt to try and recover the ball, just leaves a leg on Erin Cuthbert. And she's going to play with that you know, bit of tentativeness now. She has a yellow card. So half time, Chelsea in front by two goals to nil. Could have been more as well, although Ajax have hit a post. Fascinating to come in the second half. Who are you supporting, by the way? Seems much of the uh, support with uh, Chelsea. Cheer your team on in the fan zone. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. It's only gravity. 
It's only a setback. It's only a number. It's only a tackle. just left home and moved to the city and it's not quite going like you planned I feel like I shouldn't have come here your sister says babe you're surrounded by 8 million people just go out and find some of them so you do you dance you sit in awkward silences you kiss and you laugh till it hurts a world that seems so closed off now feels so full of possibilities Tinder it starts with a swipe Do you want some milk? No, no, it's, it's, I can get you ice cream. It's no delivery fee. <coughs> Bob. Get zero pound delivery fee on all grocery orders. Uber One. Join to save on Uber and Uber Eats. Eight of Europe's finest names head to head. And heck, our Champions League quarter finalists. Barcelona have booked their place. History is made. Bran through to the last eight. Join the Visa Fan Zone on the zone for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, DAZN.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. Welcome back everybody as we have a look at what has gone before us in the first half here in Amsterdam in this UEFA Women's Champions League quarter-final first leg. Ajax came out 
really strongly, having weathered a bit of uh, a storm from Chelsea in the early periods, Anita Asante, but that was a real let-off for Chelsea there, wasn't it, as they hit the post? Well, Ajax started really brightly and were already testing Hannah Hampton. And then Chelsea started to get into the groove and started making chances their own, and rather fortuitously it fell to Lauren James. Everybody stopped, waited for a flag, it eventually came. However, with the use of video technology here, this goal would stand. Professional play from Lauren James playing until the whistle showing her quality in class in that moment. Yeah, they came about here being onside as the ball ricocheted its way into her pass. And Lauren James scoring for the first time in Europe this season. Alex not helping themselves at the back, but the pressure telling from Chelsea. Nonchalantly done by Lauren James in the end. <laughs> Yeah, aggressive pressure, but Ajax need to do better, clear their lines. You don't want to give good players like Lauren James that time and space. Well, Chelsea kept on pushing. Chelsea have never lost the Champions League quarter-final in the Women's Champions League. Thought they had another one. Kira right in here. Two bites of the cherry. And she put it away. Chelsea was celebrating, but this would be ruled out for offside. But again, James at the heart of things in it. Lauren James has caused and have it down that left-hand side with, you know, really wicked deliveries into the cross. But you see here, Niskun is deemed offside from the initial play in a position as she tries to get herself back onside. So the video assist referee coming to the aid of Ajax, who've had to uh, withstand plenty from Chelsea. And if Chelsea were disappointed that the goal didn't stand, just moments later on the approach to half-time, they would have the ball in the net again. James leaving it, right and taking over, and Shukin Nuskin was there where it mattered, sliding in. And Chelsea with that two-goal cushion. Again, that left-hand side for Chelsea, you know, proving strong for them. And you see here that ball into Guru Wright, who just puts in a lovely cross into the in behind the back line, and who's there arriving? Perfect timing, Nuskin. So Shukin Nuskin scoring again as she did with those couple of goals against Arsenal on Friday night and as it stands it is Chelsea in front comfortably with more of the ball and more attempts as well and most importantly with those two goals at the halfway stage of the first leg here of this UEFA Women's Champions League quarter-final. Join the Visa Fan Zone on the zone for the knockouts of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Test your trivia, vote in polls, win amazing prizes, including a VIP trip to the final. Joining is simple. Head to the DAZN app on your mobile or on the web, DAZN.com forward slash women's football. Sign up, select a UWCL game and get involved live and for free on DAZN, the global home of women's football. of Europe's finest names head to head. And Hecken, our Champions League quarter finalists. Barcelona have booked their place. History is made. Brand through to the last eight.
You've just left home and moved to the city. And it's not quite going like you planned. I feel like I shouldn't have come here. Your sister says... Babe, you're surrounded by 8 million people. Just go out and find some of them. So, you do. You dance. You sit in awkward silences. You kiss. And you laugh till it hurts. A world that seems so closed off now feels so full of possibilities. Tinder. It starts with a swipe. Hold on. It's only noise. Can Anthony Edwards live up to the hype? It's only rivalry. A little hard work. Only a kick. It's only a jump. Good morning, Mr. Jones. It's Sharon here. I've come to help you get washed and dressed. So it's very important that you explain everything you're doing to the patient so that they know exactly what to Your skills are more valuable than you realise. Teach part-time in further education and change lives without changing your career. Search Teach in Further Education. OK. Uh, mm. It's spicy. Do you want some milk? No, no, it's, it's, I can get you ice cream. It's no delivery fee. <laughs> Get zero pound delivery fee on all orders. Uber One. Join to save on Uber and Uber Eats. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Amazon. Welcome back to the Johan Cruyff Arena, everybody. A player of the first half, and I uh, hope you've been uh, having fun actually in the fan zone live on the zone, the uh, global home of women's football. Earlier, we did ask you who was standing out for you, player of the first half, and it was to be Lauren James who came up tops. I mentioned it in the first half, Anita Asante, she's been unplayable at times. I mean, Lauren James is a sort of player I would have loved to have played with, hated to play against. <laughs> because you, you see her all her attributes 1v1 left foot right foot um, so difficult to stop and really she's the player that's causing all the problems for Ajax yeah Ajax had a, a brief moment didn't they when they, they struck a post there's been a few nervy moments with Hannah Hampton at the other end but overall with the, with the control that Chelsea have had on that first 45 please Emma Hayes the most Definitely, I think Emma Hayes will, will be pleased with the, the way the team have managed the overall game, that they've created chances and, and put them away. They've been clinical, which has allowed them to build their rhythm and the confidence as the game has gone on. And so if you were to swap roles and put yourself in the position of Susanna Barker now as Ajax start to make their way out, what, what sort of words do you think she'd have mentioned to her players? Uh, a kind of, let's just go for it show what you can do now absolutely Susanna Backer will be telling her players go out there be brave you've got nothing to lose you've already created history for the club you're playing in front of the crowd give them something to shout about and replicate the early minutes of that first half and try and get Romeo looked her into the game a, a little bit more I'm not really seeing the uh, star names of Ajax led by uh, their captain 
And Nadine Nudam have a real say on proceedings thus far. There is Susanna Baker. Ajax deciding not to extend her contract. It was announced back in January. As Emma Hayes moves on to the United States after the season end. Back underway then. Chelsea two to the good up here in Amsterdam. They've had a goal ruled out through uh, video assist as well. Although Ajax have struck a post. They have shown that they are capable of causing problems. A team who are currently on a winning run of eight matches domestically. Ajax nine unbeaten in all competitions back to when Paris Saint-Germain beat them. Haven't lost in the uh, top flight here in the Netherlands since November when Twente beat them. They have scored in 11 of their last 13 Champions League matches. But they need a goal here to keep them in the tie. Yeah, for a team that actually has quite a low XG, they've managed to score in all their home fixtures. You see Kaiser, who's part of the Ajax talent team. And, uh, Susanna Bakker, the current head coach now, is uh, heading that up as well. The great occasion it is here tonight. And it's a 40,000. Their cup game at the weekend played in front of just over 400. A bit of a difference. But this is what these players have dreamt of doing and playing in these occasions. Just in front of just over 30,000 at Stamford Bridge against Arsenal. The uh, trend setters in the WSL in terms of packing out the Emirates. That's a real reflection of the growth of women's football, I think, across Europe in particular. But, you know, it's having that global effect and the interest is there and the quality of display is on the pitch. Oh, and they turn it over, Niskan here, in towards James. James on the turn, and there's Nordam, who was covering. And now Grant, she get away from Charles, she can. Grant, what can she do here? Tilly Herkstra, up against Carter. Find an angle for a cross, she can. Perizé was there first, in the way. The Colonia. Now Johannes, quite full for Luther. And Chelsea looked to try and calm me down through Buchanan, and now Cuthbert. And Cuthbert calmly finds Perissa. Zuluta. Kelly de Sanders. Johannes. Tilly Hoekstra now, nothing really going on ahead of her. There's more positive play from Ajax. It started obviously with Nordam winning that ball and Grant able to pin and spin. Getting Johannes more into the game now. Well, really Johannes, her grandfather by the way, was a bit of a legend in uh, Ethiopia. Scored from halfway in the uh, African Cup of Nations back in the <laughs> late 1960s. It's not a bad thing to be noted for. <laughs> Absolutely not. Football has always been on the mind of Lily Johannes growing up in the United States. It's very safe. Carter, Luther, 
Just letting her know that she's there. That's good pressure from Ajax there, setting the trap going together in numbers, forcing Carter to, to play that ball off of one of them. night here the stadium where the men's team won a, a European title Just 10 years ago now in the Europa League oh. they did well fending off Leupold's Cardinal clearly done hopes for one six she's not going to get it though Van who and she fouled, the referee will bring it back. Yeah, you can see that's positive attack for Ajax. They can be such a threat going forward when they get into these situations, but you can see it coming together there of Lupoltz and Van Hull. A clear foul. It looks like it's a fair way out. She's going to uh, try and fancy testing Hannah Hampton here. Looks it does hit it, or it gets right underneath it. Yeah, it's going to take something really special to try and beat Hannah Hampton from that distance. So. You know, if it's me, I'll probably opt to try and change the angle, get some other players running against the ball into the box. She's not had a lot to go off tonight, has she? And then looks at 81 goals. And passing the uh, record of Marilyn van der Bikela to become Ajax's all-time top scorer. It's in Kamerit. Now the Claudia back. Now the uh, flag has come up. Yeah, fortunately for Ajax, a really good line there. I'm not sure the Claudia knew much about where her written kind of rid was, but a uh, really good organised shape there. Johannes. Go down for Tilly Hoekstra. Kind of. oh. Bit of quality there from Kano Id. Plenty happening in the fan zone right now. Thank you for being part of it here on the zone, by the way. The uh, global home of women's football. Test your trip here in the fan zone quiz for chances to win a VIP trip for two to this year's UEFA Women's Champions League final in Bilbao. The question is bit of an easy one to get going. Name the current Chelsea manager. Emma Hayes, Sanka, Casey Stoney, Matt Beard are your options. Charles. She has grown as a player at a time at Chelsea in the years she's been there since uh, a move from Liverpool, Lee Charles. Yeah, she's got an incredible engine and ability to get up and join the attack, create overloads. Has a number of assists across the season as well. A real asset to this Chelsea team. Another example of the versatility in this Chelsea team as well. It's Buchanan, Lopoltz. Grant against Charles. Respective champions of the Netherlands and England head to head here in Amsterdam. 
That's his fourth successive title last season. Now it's becoming champions for the third time. It's a close title race with let's say Twente beaten by a point in the end. It could be a close one again this season. If you just see how organised this Chelsea defence is in that 4-4-2, the tight distances between those lines made it really difficult for Ajax to try and break that press and find options ahead of the ball. And swarming around Giannis. Ranton and... Don't them get there, she can. Poke it into the path of Chelsea Grant. Hampton's clearance only finds touch. Some talent in the uh, goalkeeping department as well, haven't they? With Sachira Musovic, it's back up to Hannah Hampton these days, and Catherine Berger, one of the finest. It's the Claudia. Oh, Cardinal. Extra. Here's Johannes. Flag going up at the end. I think everybody was probably waiting for <laughs> yeah. it to come, wasn't it? With Lutz said it's a mile off. So I think that was a pretty clear offside. It took a while for the flag to go up. Yeah, you can see it's quite clear there. Looks to, looks to go a bit early on that run. Charles, James, it's that roaming roll. And no out now, striker number nine, sunk her with that horrible injury that she's sustained. There's no Myra Ramirez in the squad for this one as well, due to injury. There's James, Martin and as good as the central figures in there, it's towards right in here with the flick. Again, Lauren James causing problems. Lovely low delivery into the box, right? And trying to go for the clever flick. But this is the problem. Lauren James popping up at all sorts of positions of the pitch, really hard to defend against. Norda. Barapool, seen a lot more of the ball in the second half, certainly in that midfield area, Ajax. Yeah, there's a little bit more energy in their play. You yep. can see that they're trying to look for that front line. Got to sort of limit these turnovers. Johannes sends it back. Free getting in the way. Oh, we're going to have to bring it back as Norda here felt a. Maybe a stray arm from the referee? I mean, could he get a yellow card out for well, the referee? Yeah. <laughs> She's clearly stopped at a, uh, an attack brewing there. Yeah, there's a positive um, <laughs> <laughs> defensive tra transition for Ajax. You just, I mean, that's great blocking. <laughs> yeah, a little complaint there from all time. <laughs> story it's a wonderful one how she used to work in a nursing home when she was a player at Adio Den Haag to uh, give up the job and turn it professional with Ajax just shows you you know the game is still relatively young in yes. its professional era that you know players had dual careers or dual education education as well alongside playing and it's obviously a great time that so many players could commit to being full-time pros. Yeah, this is a, a growing league in Ajax. Mentioned by 
Emma Hayes in the press conference actually from the time that they played in a friendly against each other some 18 months ago. She says she remembers saying that she could see Ajax becoming the next team to come through in Europe. So high praise. Very high praise. And I think you look at this Ajax team and, and the youthfulness in this squad, they've got a very bright future ahead of them. Hit the R mark. Chelsea still in complete control. Put a fair few miles in Chelsea recently. Fourth away day in the last five. A lot of travel and of travels up north, the north of England as well, in their away days in respective competitions. And an extra day off after their win against Arsenal. It's Carter. Luska. Perise. Referee will bring it back. No further advantage to be had. Yeah, good decision there for the referee. Shoka Luska did really well to just roll her player to try and face up and progress play. Charles will get that. She's on her way. Oh, the uh, target was risen, Cavalry. Made a lot of ground forward. Leapold swings it in. Right and back, Nuskin. Yeah, lovely ball. Here from Lou Poltz to just whip that back into the box and great control from Guru Raita to just put it in the path of this good who isn't able to just get ahead over the ball and hit that shot low and hard. She's got eight goals in all competitions coming into this one, make it nine. And with a goal tonight, Shekhar Nuskin. in 12 times in all competitions for Eintracht Frankfurt last season, getting them into the Champions League. It's Buchanan. Now Brighton. Oh. Referee across, three down. Yeah, it was a little bit comical <laughs> initially. You could see all three players eager to try and get their first. I think you even hear Guru Wright and scream for the ball as Eric Cuthbert looks to try and play her in. Oh, and Laura James gets the touch there, and it's just, you can see here. There, yeah, just as she, she goes to the ground, coming, does doesn't she? see a blind side. Oh, that is a whack. Regina Van Eyck, part of the senior squad since she was 16 years of age. And Van Eyck, she's been around a long time. She's suffered uh, a lot in terms of injury. And filling it as well now is the number one for Ajax in goal after Lisa Kopp left for the uh, WSL. She's now a Leicester City player. Here's Cuspert. I have to say, I've been really impressed with the way Chelsea have been super aggressive and front-footed in that press when Ajax have the ball. You saw Buchanan earlier really hyped the pitch. 
those are the moments that Ajax have to transition a bit quicker, change the tempo, lift the intensity. And still no changes being made yet by either coach. It's James. Could have by De Colonia. Well, they give and go with Hoekstra. And look at the desire from Aaron Cuthbert throwing himself in the way of that. And typifying how Chelsea have gone about their business tonight. Yeah, Aaron Cuthbert has really taken to that captain role. And, you know, she's a player that plays, gives you both sides of the game. Attacking is really effective, but defensively will get stuck in too. Precisely why she is in the uh, top ten for tackles one in the Champions League this season. <laughs> it's Grant. Puts in another stop there, the captain, Cuthbert. Towards James. Now changes. So it will be Ajax to blink first. So Lily Johannes is going to make way, this young 16-year-old who picked up a yellow card in the first half, so she won't be playing at Stamford Bridge. And she's being replaced here by Jana van der Velde. And if appearances have been off the bench, she started just one league game this season. Has been at Ajax all of her career. She didn't kick a ball at all last campaign due to a knee injury. Some 16 months away from the game. Yeah, well, I said Johannes was the one to watch, and I think tonight's been a difficult night for her. For her. Getting that early yellow card, I think, does add a bit more pressure. To, to your game as a midfielder where you've got to really compete in those physical duels. Cut out by Picard. Hiddick watching on from a Chelsea head coach on the men's side. Legendary Dutch coach in attendance. But lining it up, Van Eich gets down well. Yeah, she attempts to unleash a shot there, just isn't able to get enough power behind it. A little early, we did ask you who the current Chelsea head coach is. Emma Hayes, Anker, Casey Stoney, and Matt Beard with the options. The answer was, of course, Emma Hayes. And if you've got it right, why not take on the quiz in the fan zone for your chance to win a VIP experience. 67% all positive support messages coming in. As Van Eyck gets down here and holds on to it. Positive support, by the way, from Ajax fans. To just whether Ajax can mount some sort of comeback in the overall tie. Again, you can show your support by sending positive messages in the chat. No doubt. Hoekstra away from Paris A. Can she deliver across? She can, but right onto the head of Buchanan. Paris A's touch was a, a heavy one. Urge to shoot. The shot does eventually come in. Plenty of blue in the way, and Chelsea can come away with it. Yeah, Herxford did extremely well initially to get away from Perisay. 
try and get a ball into the box. Chelsea defended really well to just get back, recover, regain possession. But positive sign for Ajax. We're approaching the final 20 minutes of this first leg. And uh, Chelsea with a two goal advantage. Ajax are capable of scoring. They just need one chance. And now games can change so quickly, but. Here come Chelsea at the other end to capitalize on errors at the back from Ajax. Here is Lauren James. The Clonny is there. Guru right and taking over now. It's in Calvert. Who will it fall to in the end? Van der Velde gets a clear flag eventually coming to the aid of Ajax. Yeah, you just felt there that the Chelsea players were lining up or wanted the opportunity to, to take on the, the chance on goal. Lauren James, the ball initially gets stuck under her feet and I actually really well to get narrow and compact to just limit that space. Milton with the touch. But no problems. <laughs> Just about got out of the way of that. She could should be coming. <laughs> well, started against Arsenal last weekend, only a third start of the WSL. All but at home. A 49th appearance in Europe tonight. A player who has been there, done it, got. Every t shirt possible in time with Leon. She's again in an Olympic year as well, and a, an Olympic champion in Tokyo. Paris will soon be here in the summer. It's Carter. It's in Canada. It's Luska hangs it up deep for Guru Ryzen. And will come away with it. Ryzen to provide Cuthbert. Oh, big chance. Big chance to maybe even put this tie to bed. Yeah, another quality chance from Chelsea there. Guru Ryzen wins this tussle. First thought, can I get a ball in the box? Are their numbers arriving? Aaron Cuthbert comes in. Just unable to slow her momentum, get that composure to direct the ball either side of Ike. Tilly Hoekstra has made way as Sykes are making changes. A lot of Kukla. There's uh, another young player coming on and a chance for Emma Hayes to rotate and make some changes of her own. So, Lone James makes away. And uh, with the introduction of Ashley Lawrence and Katarina Macario uh, coming on. First appearance in Europe this season for Katarina Macario. Well known, her injuries at the start of a Chelsea career and one of her 600 days since she last played in the Champions League and that was in the final for Lyon against Barcelona and she scored in it as well. Marking a Chelsea debut at the start of the month against Leicester with a goal having been on just six minutes. Did not feature due to a, a knee injury that she picked up in a final game for Lyon. Here's Lawrence towards Macario. Two substitutes looking to combine immediately. Macario again. Cuthbert wants it, gets it now. Wide for Ashley Lawrence. Letting it bounce. And nervously, Ajax are able to clear it, but only as far as Neve Charles. I mean, the scary thing is the changes that Emma Hayes has been able to 
unleash. You've got Lawrence, who is, you know, full of dyna dynamism down that right-hand side, or almost offers a similar threat to Kanarin, maybe a bit less tricky, but still very effective. And Macarino, as we know, has had impact on her return for the club as well. A recent winner in an FA Cup clash against Everton in a, a quarter-final as well. Did come off Florence last. Uh, more recent arrival as well from Paris Saint Germain. Paris Macario Nishkin squeeze it through for the better of Cardinal and here come Ajax 15 remaining in the first leg of this quarter-final can Ajax get a goal to take to London Grant will let it run for a corner encouraging for Ajax here the Grant does exceptionally well there you know they haven't had much uh, you passages of play in this half and we brought into the game but those are the moments where she can make a difference, get the team up the pitch and win a set piece. Listen to this record crowd as well, getting right behind Ajax now. Corner is floated in. No doubt. To Clonia. Oh, and that final touch just let it down. Oh, an awkward one this for Van Eyck. Calmly done in the end. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, could have ended up horribly there, but Van Eyck kept her nerve. Did really well to just settle it. It set things up nicely, wouldn't it, if Ajax were to score? If it was uh, to be just the one-goal game. We're going to Stamford Bridge next week. Loisa just can't link up with anybody. Brighton. Put in again, such a shift. Luskin. And she's on her way. Can, can't get there in time though. And Sanders plays it forward on his far as Nick Charles. No damn. Oh, they've got the options through the middle and to the left as well. Jess Carter will have felt the presence of her opposite number seven. Loiter and she showed all of her experience there, Jess Carter. Yeah, she managed that situation perfectly was ball side, was able to read that pass, be first. But I showed some flashes where they get into their kind of modes attacking wise, just lacking that bit of quality in the final third. Chelsea got the free kick just to calm it down. Chelsea will be in action again at the weekend. And we'll face West Ham United again. If Beat them twice already this season in the FA Cup and in the WSL. Home clash against Pek Savola for Ajax. To try and keep the heat on Twente at the top of the table. Five games remaining there. Chelsea level and points with Manchester City with six to go in the WSL. Grant. Buchanan has been absolutely huge tonight for Chelsea. Yeah, she really has. And I think Grant there, maybe just a bit of decision making, let her down. Wasn't quite sure what she wanted to do. I thought she was going to slip her teammate on the overlap. But again, Chelsea show their experience, able to manage their situations really well.
There's Lawrence. Minded with the uh, change, Lawrence, rather than being in a native right back position. Chelsea going to get the uh, corner or not? No. You see here, Lawrence does a little step over swivel, tries to evade the Claudia here. Uh, but I think you can see clearly a goal kick. Pardon me, I think that was De Sanders, in fact, corrected. Can I with the clearance? So this one they felt up. Final ten minutes. She was beaming, wasn't she? The uh, during her interview, just before we got going here, about being in such a, an environment. Well, it's where the big teams just love to play in front of big crowds and show what they're all about. To do the same again at Stamford Bridge next week in a, a potential the semi-final but a repeat of last season's semi-final with Barcelona if they get beyond Brown should expect them to do but you never know <laughs> you'd never know stranger things have <laughs> happened but yeah I think they'll be the favorites in that that fixture as well yeah Emma Hayes was full of excitement for this fixture and I think that kind of energy just rubs on off onto the team Cuthberts right across the face Chance of looking for that third goal that could quite easily wrap up the overall tie. And Ike's going to get there ahead of Lawrence. Oh, a bit of slight contact from Lawrence and Van Eyck. I think her knee just catches her. Ever so slightly. As Lawrence has been heavily involved since she's come on, freshness, that extra energy she's able to bring. Flupots for Cuthbert. Macario. Flupots for Buchanan. Did well on the stretch there, Lawrence now. Carrio looking to keep herself on side. Two to Aymar in the centre. And there is a Chelsea third. This one with her arms up, wanting it, getting it, and scoring again. And Chelsea with a very handsome lead to take into the second leg now. And Shikanuskan at the double again for the Blues. Well, I was going to say, the substitutes coming in and keeping and maintaining, if not raising the levels, shows the strength and depth of this Chelsea side. But pinpoint precision cross into the box and Niskan there with the perfect header. And again, you've just got to question Ajax is defending. They've got to get touch tight to players in there. Can't allow them that space and time. She has all this time to just leap up and, and direct the ball into the back of the net. Fabulous delivery in as well to find her. And uh, Chikanuskin. Mentioned she's had a good week. That's four goals in four days. <laughs> it's not a bad return, is it? Not at all. As uh, Chelsea changes, Erin Cuthbert is going to make way. What a sh uh, shift she's put in. And uh, Yelena Chankovic. He's going to come on as a replacement. Jankovic has been playing 64 minutes in Europe this season. She started against Paris FC. Carter's got to deal with this to the other end. And she does. It's going to be a pretty steep mountain to climb now for Ajax going to Stamford Bridge, isn't it? I think it's going to be extremely difficult for them, especially going to Stamford Bridge, which is like a fortress 
for Chelsea and, and seeing the changes as well that Chelsea have been able to make in this game just shows the strength and depth they have in this squad. Cardinal for Ajax. De Canem there yet again. Ajax simply must be sick of the sight of her. The time to come forward. It's just been the wall that is De Canem, but can they make something happen? It looks like she's getting out of her feet. Still alive, this for Ajax. Extraordinary from Lusa. At one point, she just looked as though she just gave up with the opportunity. Yeah, it seemed to me that Lusa couldn't quite make a decision early enough. You know, the ball's coming to the box. Striker's instinct is you've got to try and take that on first time. She's trying to settle it, you know, in her foot. And it just gets all caught up and tangled up there. So Ajax making a change. It's about cool. He's away and uh, Danica Nordman, or Danny as she's known, is on as her replacement. And uh, Muskin? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see. Thank you, Peter Jones and Sophie Ingle. Come on here for Chelsea. Only Leupold's with the high fives. Here comes the experience of Sophie Ingle. He's played the most games in the uh, WSL history. And thank you, Peter Jones. You can see of her career. Oh, what a talent she is. Take the place of Neve Charles. Who's your Visa player of the match? Time to let us know. You can let us know in the chat and we'll reveal at the end of the match. See the introduction of Aggie Beaver Jones, an exciting player for Chelsea, one for the future, still developing a craft but having so much impact already. She does have uh, an impact and scoring goals off the bench. Uh, an impact. She got a time away on loan, didn't she? She gets vital minutes and experience under her belt before coming back to Chelsea. Yeah, and she's a player I'm really lucky to be able to work with with even the under 23s. Yeah. And I think she has so much hunger, you know, to keep developing her, her game and also her career. She grew up not far from Cobham. De Sanders restarts. She uh, grew up near to the uh, Johan Cruyff Arena, only De Sanders. So she could actually see the stadium from a bedroom window. She was that close to wow. the stadium. <laughs> she is red and white of Ajax through and through. Gonna be on a losing team tonight. Lawrence. I think up on the left now after those changes have been made. Wrighton. So 
to the final 30 seconds of the 90. Job done tonight for Chelsea. They'll make it a lot more comfortable. Going back to West London next week. To play here from Grant, but they won't actually gone out of play. Three additional minutes to be had. Yeah, I think for the players, this is a position you want to be in. You're in full control, got the job done. Is it tricky though, then going into the second leg knowing that you've got such a, a score line going your way that you know, there's no room for errors still and to be professional and get the job done I don't think it'll be tricky for Chelsea I think they have so much experience they've been there done that you know a number of times four times to be exact you know previously they, they, they can manage those situations they'll be thriving on it they'll want to score goals in front of a home crowd as well And Ajax will know they have to go out and, and try and get a result. So they'll probably leave more space and opportunity for, for Chelsea to, to capitalise on. Well, here's Van der Velde. Now the final say on the clash. Ajax here in Amsterdam. Macario calms it all down. Very say now. Quickla, on she goes. Oh, it just seemed to open up. It will be a corner. But at one point, she might have had a, a clear line on goal. Yeah, really positive run for Kukala, weaving in and out of this Chelsea defence. Just, I don't, I think she slightly mishits it as well as that deflection comes off of uh, Carter there for the corner. In comes the corner. The referee has seen too much going on in there, so it will be a free kick to Chelsea. Well, be huge lessons learned. And, uh, an occasion it will be for them, as you've, as you've said. They're going to Stamford Bridge. Nothing to fear, nothing to lose. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. This is, like I said, the future is bright for this Ajax team. They're playing a really good Chelsea side, and it's all about taking in these moments and experiences and trying to build on that for the future. Baby Jones. Not done yet, are they, Chelsea? Same play. <laughs> Chankovic. Chelsea control going to Stamford Bridge after this first leg. Total dominance from Emma Hayes' side. They've been a class above. And Shukin Nuskin with two goals in this one. And we can reveal it was her you voted your Visa Fan Zone player of the match. Her two goals added to that of Lauren James in the first half as well. Ajax started well, they struck a post, and nil-nil, but then Chelsea's class came to the top, and it could have been more, Guru Wrighton did have a goal ruled out as well, but James making it look effortless, and in the end, Chelsea with a commanding lead going into the second leg next week against Ajax as they hunt down another place in a Champions League semi-final. They've done the hard work here in Amsterdam, and they will look to put it all to bed in their own style and way at Stamford Bridge next week in Italy. Yeah, you know, of course, it feels like the time may be over, uh, but Chelsea really showed the dominance today, their experience, the clinicalness in front of goal against a really young Ajax team with limited European experience. But what 
a chance to play in front of a home crowd and, and build on this for the future. What was it that, that stood out the most about Chelsea's performance tonight? I think the intensity, they were pressing everything aggressively. We saw how high Buchanan got up the pitch to try and stop those attacks from Ajax, but also the class and quality of, of Lauren James and, and the deliveries into the box. They had so many players lining up to try and get on the end of, of, of attacking uh, options. Um, and, and again, Chelsea, you know, there's that desire to reach a final. You can really see that everything they do, both on and off the ball. They've never lost the UEFA Women's Champions League quarter-final tie. And they'll look to try and sail through a little easier than they did last year, Chelsea, when they had to beat Lyon on penalties. But job done here tonight, impressively. Only goals in either half. And for Ajax, they are just getting going at this level. Taking it all in in front of a record crowd for women's football here in the Netherlands. They're proud of their achievements, but it is the steepest mountain to climb going into the return next week. Our attention will turn to West Ham now at the weekend for Emma Hayes and her team. Dream, the fairy tale still on, isn't it? Of maybe claiming the Champions League title for the first time, Chelsea. In her final season as head coach. Stats and facts then, Chelsea, more of the ball. Uh, more attempts on targets. More attempts overall. A few nervy moments at times at the back, but overall it was uh, a completely dominant affair. So if we look back at what has happened in this one, Ajax with the first attempt on goal, looked at their all-time top scorer striking the post, and Hannah Hampton was beaten. Had needed the frame of her goal to come to the rescue for Chelsea. That was just over six minutes gone, and expecting Ajax to come out quickly here in front of a, a passionate record crowd, but they were soon to be silenced at Iterasante when Chelsea got themselves in front. Yeah, Chelsea responded directly, didn't they? And Lauren James came up with the goods, reacting first off of that ricochet between the centre-back and full-back to just tuck that ball away. There was some thought that it might have been offside, but wasn't to be, and James was able to celebrate her first goal in this season's competition. Clearly see here she's onside. And a few bobbles and bumps along the way from Ajax defenders. In the end, it fell kindly for her. And Lauren James, in the most cool and casual way, slotting it in for Chelsea. Yeah, nice calm finish. You know, she's the first to react. She's shown her quality and her class. James involved again. For the second goal, Chelsea having had a goal just ruled out just moments before this, by the way. There was some thought that she might have earned a penalty there. And not getting involved here as Wrighton took over. And on the stretch was Shirka Nuskin to make it 2-0 just before half-time. An absolute hammer blow to Ajax. Yeah, Ajax struggled to defend the first phase initially with Lauren James. And then again, second phase, Nuskin arrives Time to run perfectly to get on the end of a Guru right and cross. And then into the second half, Chelsea again so good with the ball, keeping control of the game, playing it in their own way. And when they did come forward, they looked likely had to test Van Eyck, and on this occasion it was Aaron Cuthbert. Well, Chelsea just found so many ways to try and exploit Ajax, there were crosses, you know, the quality of Cuthbert as well, arriving for those shots from distance. 
chances kept on coming for Chelsea and Erin Cuthbert was involved again. And making that dart across the defender, got there and really should have been three. Yeah, again, great delivery in from Guru right on the left-hand side and wins this tussle at muscles her opposite number and Erin Cuthbert arriving in behind that Ajax defence. And then changes made a real difference for Chelsea towards the end. Freshness and quality. And Macario's delivery here right onto the head of Nuskin, who scores uh, a double for Chelsea for the second successive game. Perfect cross for Macario, having direct and immediate impact for the right-hand side to find Nuskin, who is completely alone. Basically, no real threat or contact on her. Kind of an easy header for her to direct pass Ike. So Chelsea with a three-goal lead into the second leg of their quarter-final of the UEFA Women's Champions League. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage here on DAZN, the global home of women's football. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. It's only a setback. It's only a number. It's only a tackle. Job done. And it's not even lunchtime. But it's not about speed, it's about getting it right. You don't want your wall to end up looking like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. There's a reason why the line's there. We lay to the line. Make Your sure skills are more valuable than you realise. Teach part-time in further education and change lives without changing your career. Search Teach in Further Education. Please. We've made a record-breaking commitment to women's and girls' football. But invested in so much more. In confidence. In leadership. In being part of a team. For us, it's about more than football. It's about creating a brighter future together. Barclays, here for every goal. This is you on your first day as a teacher. Anybody? This is a class you'll inspire. Alien? No. Right. Really inspire. This is a lesson you'll learn from her, him, and then here's the day you're put to the test. Come on. And this is the day we bring it home! These are all the lives you'll shape. This is the one you'll shape the most. Search Get Into Teaching.
UEFA Women's Champions League. Sponsored by EA Sports FC and Amazon.